Hello everybody and welcome to a series of videos about using and making paper in Corel Painter 2016. Using paper in Corel 2016 is an important function. Um, it's, it's a very powerful function and one that is extremely useful to the artist. It emulates or mimics traditional uh, the way traditional media works. For instance, if I choose real fat chalk and I have a paper, let's just say the gessoed canvas paper, and I begin to paint with it, you're going to see that the chalk can show that texture of the paper. As I increase the pressure of the chalk, I can fill up the hills and valleys of the paper, just like you would see with traditional change the paper though with uh, digital we can change the paper and get a completely different look than what we had before so every time we change the paper we're going to get new possibilities working digitally and that's the beauty of working with papers in uh, Corel Painter or working digitally you don't you're not stuck with the one paper that you started with. You can change to multiple papers, thus making the brush look very different. If you change to a different kind of brush, let's say we go to a watercolor brush. Uh, this is called Speckle Wash, and I'm still going to stay in the, coarse, uh, I'm in the coarse watercolor paper. And when I put that speckled wash down and let it run, you're going to see that sort of textured look that um, is in the paper. If we go over to Gesso Canvas and do the same thing, notice how we're going to see the little squares are showing very different from what happened up there. I'm going to jump over to Horizontal Chaos because that's one of the most exciting ones in uh, with watercolor and look at how look at the way the watercolor runs and how different that paper looks same brush three different papers now if we go to something like spongy particles then again we're going to get the paper changing the brush changing with the paper and getting a different look with each one isn't that wild? That's the beauty of papers and why it's so important to know how to work with papers. So in the next videos, we're going to talk about the paper control panel, the paper library, how to make papers, and different ways that we can utilize papers in Corel Painter 2016. Okay, talk to you later. Bye-bye.